Good morning, friends. This is Bishop John Quinn of the Diocese of Winona, and I welcome you to this televised liturgy. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Wonderful day to be alive, isn't it? Just to worship, and to know that God is among us, and to praise God. And welcome to all of you, and welcome to our guests who are watching this either on TV or on our website, to both St. Mary the Lake and St. Patrick Parishes. We look to God here, and, and praise God, and, and we uh, look to his mercy because we all sin and know that his mercy is so much greater than our sin. So let's ask forgiveness. You are the way, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are the truth, Christ have, mercy. Christ have mercy. You are the life, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O 
O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your, faith, your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from the slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Thus says the Lord, Rejoice heartily, O daughter Zion. Shout for joy, O daughter Jerusalem. See, your king shall come to you. Our just savior is he. Meek and riding on an ass, on a colt the foal of an ass, he shall banish the chariot from Ephraim and the horse from Jerusalem. The warrior's bow shall be banished, and he shall proclaim peace to the nations. His dominion shall be from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be God. The responsorial psalm, I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. I will extol you, O my God and King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. I will praise your name forever and ever, my King and my God. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. Let all your works give thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of, discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. The Lord is faithful in all his words and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the Spirit. If only the Spirit of God dwells in you. Whoever does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. If the Spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also through his Spirit that dwells in you. Consequently, brothers and sisters, we are not debtors to the flesh, to live according to the flesh, for if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to the little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to little ones. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me. All you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves, <clears throat> for my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. The scripture today is all about humility. 
Jesus writing, you know, he wrote into Jerusalem very humbly. And then the, this wonderful gospel here about humility and, you know, the little ones. I'd like to tell you about a little one. Uh, years ago, I was in Egypt and I took a ride in a bus from Cairo out about three or four hours into the desert to a monastery, a monastery that's been there since the early church. And the people there, the men there, was, the men in that monastery, they were, they were professional men who realized there's more to life than just what they were doing, and they left and joined the monastery. And we got there, and there's this, it was hot in that bus. It was, in Egypt, the people are smaller. It was tight, it was tight. My knees were sore, stuck in there, and it was hot. And I remember walking out, the whole group, everybody in that bus, we were crabby. We didn't talk to each other. We didn't want anything to do with each other. And uh, we walked out in this, man, he's only about this big. You know, he's probably about five foot tall. Smiles at us. He says, welcome. And he says, oh, there's angels here among us. We go, what? He says, oh, look, look. Angels have come to visit us. And we're kind of like, who? Which one? You know, and, and he's, oh, no, can't you see there's angels among us? And uh, I thought, wow, he, he saw something we didn't see. He, he, he had a vision we did not see. Remember, it says here, God reveals to these little ones, you know, you've hidden things from the wise and the learned and you revealed them to little ones. And he was a marvelous per person to show us around that monastery and humble person. And, and I, think, I think about that, I think humility maybe comes with age because as you make mistakes and as sometimes you have health issues, something happens, we let go of our egos and we do become humbler. And that's the call of Christ, it's the natural thing that happens in life. And I once heard it said that, that we're not saved in our strength, we're saved in our weakness. Our strength, we don't need God. Our weakness, we need God. And we're just called to that, to follow Christ today, to come to him and to learn from him, for he is meek and humble a heart. May God help us be humble, and may God help us to see what others don't see. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, life from life, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us, men, and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Let's pray for the virtue of humility as we pray our petitions. Harrington, and all the priests and deacons, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For world leaders and all those who govern, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For the end of abortion, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those who are preparing for the sacrament of marriage, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those who are ill, lonely, abandoned, and those who are homebound, and those who minister to them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our Father, help us trust you today in all things. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring us our conduct closer to the life of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It's truly right and just, our duty and salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for by his birth, he brought renewal to our fallen state. By his suffering, he canceled out our sins. And his, by his rising from the dead, he's opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he's unlocked the gates of heaven. So with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You're indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world to bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, John, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. When we say thy will be God, done, we're being humble and letting go and saying, God, you take care of us. So, Let's pray as best we can, thy will be done. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace on our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So wait the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church 
graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer a sign of peace to one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word in my soul, shall we? Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O oh Lord, that what, that having been replenished by these great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Good morning. This is Bishop John Quinn of the Diocese of Winona. Thank you for joining us for this Sunday's televised Mass. I hope it has brought you spiritual joy and comfort this day. Our broadcast cannot continue without your support. Please consider sending a donation to TV Mass at Post Office Box 588, Winona, Minnesota, 55987.